not going to do my typical weekend vlog and instead I'm gonna give this little tiny update video where I'm just gonna kind of tell you a few little updates to my program and just kind of check in instead of doing a vlog so I've had a great week so far. I've stayed at or below my daily points. I still have all of my weeklies left over. I have done some exercise when I feel up to it, but honestly, I feel exhausted and like I've been hit by a school bus, which happens to me. I'm not a stranger to this. If you are new to my channel, I have Hashimoto's, which is an autoimmune disease that affects my thyroid. So when my thyroid is off, everything is off. <laughs> because the thyroid regulates metabolism, energy, temperature, lots of different things. So my thyroid, I just found out, is way off again, which explains why the last couple weeks I feel like I just have been like slogging through life and I am like, I don't have the strength to go on. And um, luckily I have not turned to diet soda but I do confess that I may have been having more caffeine in the form of crystallite energy packets, which are my best friend when I feel like this. So food wise, exercise wise, things are good. The scale has not been awesome because I do weigh at home. I'm a little bit confused. My wedding ring is, well, my original wedding ring that I got when I got married doesn't even fit anymore because my fingers are like giant sausages. And the fake ring that I got at Walmart, which I got in place of that, like I couldn't even get it off. So I'm like puffy, swollen. I told my friend, I'm like, I feel like somebody just like pumped me full of saline like a freaking chicken breast you know how they like pump those suckers full of like salt solution or something and then you cook them and they're like this big and then they go to this big anyway I kind of feel like that so I don't know I I really I really don't know I don't know I feel like I have been implementing my um eat below my points plan for freestyle I felt like that was like this big aha moment even though I haven't made that change like it's not been very long since I made that change I already feel like that's what my body needs and then when I got my lab results back and I was like oh well no duh no wonder for my body type I have to eat so far below my points to see results and even then they're not always consistent which yeah, it's not fun. So anyway, I got my lab results back. My thyroid's off again. They've jacked up my meds. It's going to take the typical six to eight weeks before, you know, I retest and see where my labs are at. And the thing with the Hashimoto's is that, you know, medication, yes, it helps. But no, it does not take me back to where I was pre-Hashimoto's eight years ago, which is a, it's just such a bummer. But whatever, it is what it is. So a few years ago, I made the decision after like a year of very, 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 very dedicated research, thought, etc., to cut wheat out of my diet because it's supposed to help with Hashimoto's. And um, I spent a year learning why that helps and getting the courage to do that. And I went about eight months without eating wheat. And then during my pregnancy with my last baby, I was eating wheat. And then after I had her, I lost my mind and I was like binging and eating lots of naughty, naughty things. And I finally got my, my mind back together. Like right around the time she turned one, I don't know what it was. <laughs> But um, that's when I rejoined Weight Watchers this past December, the very last week of December. So I basically consider it since January 1st. So that's where I'm at now. I'm down 13.6 pounds in about four and a half months. Um, I've had some rocky weeks. I haven't been totally perfect on the program. Um, so I'm like okay with where I'm at weight loss wise. But just okay. I'm not like over the moon about it. And true confession I get discouraged when I see people that are losing more weight than me and um I do so after I got my lab results back I'm like what the heck I feel like every two months I get my labs done 
and my thyroid is off again. And so they bump my meds up. This is the highest dose of medicine that I've ever taken for my Hashimoto's. And so I'm like, okay, fine. Maybe that whole wheat free life was not as bad as I'm like thinking it was in my brain. And I just need to like get over that mental hump and just go without wheat again because I know that it helped. I know that it helped me in a lot of, a lot of ways. Um, I was eating a higher fat, lower carb way of eating. I was not doing a true ketogenic diet. I probably will never do a true ketogenic diet, although I do consider myself um, a lurker. Um, I email my friend almost every day. She's like a dear friend that I met here on YouTube and I, and I email her all the time and I'm like, I'm still kind of lurking. I consider myself a keto dropout. Plus my doctor was like very adamant that I don't do keto, but that could be like a whole other video. Like, is it safe? Is it not? Should you do it? Should you not do it? I don't know, I'm confused. But anyway, I'm getting off track. The point is, I was eating lower carb, higher fat, nothing crazy. I was not counting my carbs, but I was eating really, really, really high quality food and fats, and I had lost over 30 pounds before I got pregnant. And I also got pregnant right away. I got pregnant the first month that we tried. And so that was awesome because I did struggle with infertility for two years trying to get pregnant with my son. And I had a miscarriage during that time as well before the two years of infertility happened. So, um, I've always known that when I don't eat wheat, things are better, but I hate having that restriction on myself. Um, I just do, and I don't know how I made it eight months. It eventually just became like the way of life, but yeah, there were like major food FOMO times, um, and it was not always easy, and it just wasn't my favorite, but it was like, okay, so I'm hoping that once I get into it that I just kind of get to that point where I'm like, eh, I don't notice anymore, and that I'm just feeling so much better, and, you know, my weight loss becomes more consistent with the effort that I'm putting into it, and most of all, I just want my energy back, and I want this, like, mental cloud to lift. Because it kind of comes in, like, waves, like, things will start to get better, my thyroid will regulate, and then it'll... I'll have like an autoimmune flare again and then I'm like off in la la land and I'm tired of it and I'm tired. <laughs> so what do you do? I'm gonna cut out wheat. I've already been wheat free for two days and no, I do not feel any different so far. I'm just being honest. I have, I just feel so tired. I am just having, I don't know if it's the particular time of the month. I don't know because I'm still a little bit irregular after having a baby. I'm still nursing. So it's not like I'm like clockwork or anything. Things are still a little bit inconsistent. If you get my drift, TMI, but um, I don't know. I do typically have a week or two out of the month where I feel so tired. This is that week. Plus I know my thyroid's off. So I'm hoping that by cutting out the wheat, eating at or below my points, that that will be like the ticket for me. I really enjoy eating like that higher fat, lower carb way of eating when I'm not eating wheat. But um, because I haven't really been focused on that, I don't really have like a plan of attack. Other than I'm going to stick to the freestyle program do it the way it's intended to be done with a more plant-based um, diet. That is what both doctors that I've seen recently have said. They've said that that is like the tried and true diet to help um, prevent diabetes. And I am like a target for diabetes. I, it's like, I feel like I'm a ticking time bomb. I'm a diabetic ticking time bomb. All right, like sometimes I feel like after one meal, I'm like, that's it. I have diabetes now. I just gave myself diabetes, <laughs> which I know it doesn't happen that way, but sometimes I feel like that. So um, anyway, they have encouraged me to not go too crazy with the low carb and to focus on plant, a plant-based way of eating. What does that mean? I don't really know. Do I really eat that way? Probably not all the time. I'm just like mom in survival mode is how I feel most of the time. 
and I feel like a freaking bad A for sticking with freestyle this long and like committing and getting my head back in the game. I've increased my activity. I'm in physical therapy still, which is because I still have like hip and pelvis separation problems from pregnancy. It's super fun. But um, yeah, so I'm, I'm feeling like I'm kind of getting a lot of things back to where I wanted them to be. And that's just where I'm at. Um, now I just want to feel better and I want to continue losing weight. Like I have so much weight to lose. But I know that uh, I, I just have a few things that make it harder. And so I just have to be really kind to myself and really patient. And I know that I'm putting in the effort. I know that I'm doing what I am capable of doing to try to lose weight. And um, I may not have like a loss every single week. Um, I thought it was really good that I set a goal in April to lose 6.2 pounds, even though I fell short of that. Um, it was really good to have, have that goal and it did help me push myself harder. And so for the month of May, my goal is to lose five pounds. I'm almost at 15 pounds. I'm at 13.6. And so I want to be at 18.6 pounds by my first weigh-in in June. So what am I going to have to do to do that? Well, we're already like a week into May and the scale has been a little bit wonky at home. So I don't know. I'm hoping that I have, I usually have like two really great losses in the month and then either a gain or a maintain. That's how I've always been when I've done Weight Watchers. So I'm hoping to lose five pounds. I'm not going to put it quite at 6.2. I'm going to put it at five pounds. So that averages out to be 1.25 pounds in a week. And I think that that's doable. So this is getting long and I fear that I have already rambled and will continue to ramble more. So I'm going to sign off and say thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and definitely let me know if you have a channel so that I can go and subscribe back to you. I love my Weight Watcher family and friends here. Um, so let's be friends and I will see you in my next video. Oh, P.S. I'm gonna be gone on Tuesday, which is when I typically weigh in. So I am going to see if I can hit another meeting. So I will not be posting a Tuesday weigh-in video that usually gets posted Wednesday or Thursday. It may just be an at-home weigh-in, but luckily I do track my weight at home as well. So I'll give you something. It may not be an official Weight Watchers weigh-in, but it'll be something. So keep, keep watching for that. I am so brain fogged. I feel like I can't even speak. I'm like stuttering over my words. This is horrible. This is why I'm cutting out wheat, people. This is why I'm cutting out wheat. I'll keep you posted on that. Bye.